Ooh, welcome to the Wolves Den and another action figure review. Today we are taking a look at one of Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks fantasy figures. This is from Wave 2 of that line. This figure is the Orc Conqueror. She is one of three figures I will be reviewing from that wave. The other two are Felonius and the Knight of Asperity. I will not be reviewing Nerissa as I did not purchase that figure. But the reviews for these two should be up soon, if not already. And before I get to the figure itself, if you'd like to read her bio here, you can pause that. Alright, let's get this figure out of the packaging and take a closer look at her. Starting with her articulation, we see that her head does rotate all the way around. And then she can look down fairly well and up a little bit, and that her head does also rock side to side somewhat. Her arms rest at the side like so. This one doesn't quite get as close to the body because of the strap right there, but she can raise her arms pretty far up. And then that does have full rotation at the shoulders there single elbow bend and that rotates wrists rotate and these wrists rock up and down she has a second pair of hands that rock in and out so you have options there her waist does rotate all the way around and then she can rock backwards and forwards and tilt side to side uh, this piece does not get in the way of her legs, so she can get full extension to the side and forward. And then she has double jointed knees. And rock her ankles, so she can rock those all the way around and move up and down also. So that is her articulation. Taking a closer look at the figure's details here, we see this nice mask she's wearing. This nice skull mask. A lot of great details on that. Lots of cracks, dent there. This nice wash over it all. You can see her red eyes in the eye holes there. And we see her hair, just a nice basic black sticking out the back. Then her armor, she's got this nice shoulder piece really great detail all around on that lots of sculpted in details you know you got armor plates all over the place her waist piece i really like how this looks and as as you can see it just sits loose so it doesn't get in the way of anything and then she's got some just some basic pants on her legs and basic boots, but they're still really nice texture, really nice details, even on the, the basic things. She does come with a few accessories, first being the standard Boss Fight Studio figure stand here. Next would be her extra hands. And as I said, they rock in and out, whereas the others rock up and down. And I'm not going to take the time to pop those off and put these on right now, but just know that you'll probably need to use some heat in order to get them off easier. So a hair dryer or some warm water or hot water will make the job easier to do that. Next, she has this well-worn shield. Really a nice look to this. Some old chips broken off all over the place. Lots of scratches and dents. Really cool looking. And she just holds it right there. Uh, next she has a couple weapons. First her dagger here. Another well-worn item. Lots of scratches and broken pieces off of this. It's a really cool looking dagger. 
Our second weapon is this club. Really cool looking club here. Lots of spikes sticking out of it. Leather strap holding it all together. Really cool looking club. And the last thing she has is a new head sculpt. Well, not a new one, but a second one. And this is an unmasked version. Get a better look at it here. Really nice looking head sculpt. Not a lot of paint on here, just her eyebrows and eyes. Her lips and the little tusks sticking out. But really good job on the paint apps that are there. And that, I can probably do this here. I'll pop her head off. There we go. Pop the other one on. And there, now you can see her without the mask. Okay, now for my final thoughts. As is usual with Boss Fight Studios, this female orc conqueror is a fantastic figure. The sculpt is excellent throughout. The paint apps, while somewhat minimal, are very, very good. Uh, the articulation is just fantastic. The accessories she comes with are just, just amazing. You know, really nice sculpted details, really nice paint apps on those too. Just an amazing figure throughout. I do have one minor complaint with this figure, and it is kind of a weird one, but I do wish she came with a nicer weapon, a nice sword or axe, because her armor is really nice, looks really well made, and that's kind of a disconnect for me considering the weapons she comes with, because they are very crude. It's this gnarled old club and this beat up old dagger. You'd think if she's got really nice armor, she should have some nice weapons too, but she doesn't. So, that is my one odd complaint, is that I wish she had a nicer weapon also. With that, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope to see you soon again for some more action figure reviews. Until then, thanks for watching.